Yeah, good evening YouTube. So this is the other component of my home heating system. This is an old Hutch fireplace insert. I think it's their double wall insert. They made up through the late 80s. It's the Hutch Manufacturing Company in, I believe, London, Tennessee. They no longer are in business, but this uh, insert works quite well. It's, you can hear it's got a blower there along the bottom. There's a three-speed blower, and then it has a thermostat in there to switch on when the uh, temperature gets up high, and then it, uh, it pulls air in on the two sides, and then there's uh, outlet vents on the two sides and on the top that blow out hot air and that circulates the air around the inside of the firebox and runs it out through those vents and this thing will heat up the whole house quite nicely and the blower doesn't take all that much power I do need to uh, measure the power consumption that's the only thing I don't know how much electrical power that takes but yeah, I've had this uh, 25 years, and it was uh, purchased at Home Depot. I think the insert itself was around $300 back in the day, and then I paid about $500 to have it uh, professionally installed. They sealed off the top of the chimney, put in the damper, so you've got the uh, damper control right there, and then down on the bottom there's the air inlets and then I had a stainless steel chimney liner installed so it's really easy to clean and I haven't uh, had any problems with that I don't use it all that often maybe a dozen times a year so this was a day that was kinda cold and and overcast all day so I didn't get any solar heat so I figured I would fire up the fireplace insert and I've been using mainly wood that came off of my own property and that's what's burning in there right now some wood that was cut down a number of years ago anyway I thought I'd show you that my old hutch double wall fireplace insert it's still working haven't had any problems with it at all in well over 25 years still works hasn't burned through I think the the steel inside I think was all quarter inch plate steel I mean this thing was really heavy they had to use a, a hand forklift to bring it in here kind of one of these uh, forklifts on a hand truck is it it was uh, pretty darn heavy it took two guys to get it in here and install it it has not moved an inch since I put it in there and I think this was one of the best investments I made because that's uh, paid for itself easily. I haven't had a natural gas heating bill in almost 30 years. And that, that right there used to be my only source of heat. And then I've recently, in the last 10 years or so, started adding the solar heat to cut back on how much wood I had to burn. And so that's, that's really helped out if you don't have to fire up the fireplace and burn wood then that's even better so you can see you got a pretty good blaze going in there so that was from Hutch manufacturing uh, somebody put up a web page with some of their old product information online so I'll put a link to that in the video description I've seen some posts online that people still have these and wondering how they work and they worked quite well so I think they had two models. They had the model here. This was the last model they made with the blower in front. And then I think they made an earlier model that had the blower built into the back. Yeah, if anybody has one of these and still uses it, uh, post that up in the comments section below. You can check out my channel for my other solar heating videos, show you the rest of my system. And as always, thanks for watching.